There's a single definition of success. Look at yourself in a mirror in the evening and wonder if you disappoint the person you were at 18, right before people get corrupted by life. Let him or her be the only judge. Not your reputation, not your wealth, not your standing in a community, not the decorations on your lapel. We bullshit each other. We bullshit ourselves. It's the hardest thing to do is not to bullshit ourselves. If we don't bullshit ourselves on some level, it's too painful to be alive. And that's what your art is. Your art is telling the truth in ways that you can't in life. As long as I enjoy what I'm doing, I train hard, I have no regrets, and all I can do is give my best, then it's gonna be fine, regardless of the outcome. It's important for me to actually hear uh, criticism sometimes, you know, because I think that's what makes me a better player. This thing, you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. I think a lot of people just, they see you run and they say, oh, it looks so easy, you really look effortless. But before it gets to that point, it's hard, it's like hard work. It's day in, day out, sacrifice, day in, day out. You have a limited time to stay on Earth. It really gets into behaving in a rational manner. It's not letting, not getting in your own way. As I say, everybody here has the ability uh, absolutely to do anything I do and, and much beyond. And, and some of you will and, and some of you won't. But it, 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 it will, the ones that won't, it will be because, be because uh, uh, you get in your own way. It won't because the, the world doesn't allow you to. It will, it will be because you don't uh, allow yourself to. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising. You know, you grow the love of you and your, and your wife by caring for them and having their back. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into. Um, given that, you know, even if you if you're the best, the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Uh, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just it, it's it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and and if you don't like it, you, you just really can't make it work. I think. If you run with people much faster than you, all right, yeah, you might come in last every single time, but your time will be better because they're making you run all the faster. They're making, they're making you dig down just a little bit more. It doesn't matter that you run. Your time is faster. I'm the most artistic. I have the prettiest footwork, the prettiest face. There'll never be another fighter like me. It seems like a bad idea. Yeah, and... I actually think that that's true for a lot of the best ideas. Where it is that it's not that someone else can't do it, they actually can, and the odds are stacked against you. But I think often that belief in the fact that you just care so much about what you're doing is the only thing that kind of drives you to do it. Integrity, honor, character, discipline, sacrifice, due diligence, sweat equity, to see it through. The difference is not the, the, the genetic code, the potential, the reality of life, whatever that truth is, right? It's not as powerful as the perception on how you see it. No matter what happens, it's the perception on how you see it.
There's no rush. Build for the long term, guys. You don't need stuff right now. Do things that make you happy. Go talk to 90 year olds. They regret. They talk about regret. I wish I did. Literally, inevitably, I do this. I wish is the opening line. 